literally, we were told over and over it could not be done. I always say we got thrown out of every conference room in the company, but I believed we had a responsibility to do it. So we started working back in 2000, gosh, 15 years ago now, to replace petroleum-based plastics with plant-based materials, which are much greener, much better for the environment. You can grow plants in 90 days. Petroleum is made over millions of years. Why are we using petroleum? Years ago, your oil used to be cheap. Today, it's not so. Henry Ford himself in the 30s said, if you can make it from petroleum oil, you can make it with soybean oil. When I started the program, I had no idea that Henry Ford also wanted to use byproducts of plants in cars. These are not the same materials that would be on somebody's plate. These are things that would normally be discarded or worse yet, burned, like tomato skin, seeds and stems, canaf fibers, agave fiber, compostable resins, wheat straw, soybeans, hulls, money that's taken out of circulation. The list just goes on and on. The initial foams smelled like rancid popcorn. They had terrible structure. They went through trial after trial for the soy foam, similar with all the materials. Literally thousands of failed attempts. Go back and fix it, and then run the tests again. We worked very hard in the lab to get the foams ready. And in 2007, when oil prices spiked at over $160 a barrel, this became a very, very popular, desirable idea. So we went from total obscurity to being like nerd rock stars. Thank you so much to TEDx for inviting me out of the lab today. One thing you probably don't know about Ford is that every single North American vehicle now contains soybeans. The work and materials that we have developed we've shared with other industries so that the environmental benefits can be multiplied for everyone. I remember standing in front of a camera and holding up the first soy foam and saying, it can be done. It was pretty amazing.